I don't know about you, friends, but I sure am excited at watching popular programming like Property Combat, Dinners, Drive-Ins, and Dragons, Naked and Kong, and other premium scripted and unscripted shows. That's right, friends. It's your man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to break down the latest news in ultra media becoming the biggest, hugest, largest media you've ever seen. It looks like AT&T is getting ready to spin off HBO and its other media assets and merge. I mean, let's break it down and get into the article. We'll figure out some things here. We'll help you break it down, and maybe we'll see what the future holds for you and I in our entertainment conquest of the world. Looks like AT&T to spin off HBO and other Warner Media assets merge with Discovery Channel. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it all started a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Three years ago, AT&T marched into Hollywood with big ambitions to become a colossal squid and take over everything. But now it looks like not so much the case. They're backing off and looks like they don't like bringing on mountains and piles and piles of debt. And uh, now they're gonna merge with the Discovery Channel, which owns HGTV, Human Growth Television, Human Growth Hormone Television, the Food Network for the foodies, and Animal Planet. Hmm, interesting. They proposed this venture on Monday and they're in advanced talks. Let's see how much they're talking, we don't know. But it looks like, uh, you know, the proposed venture would make them one of the biggest producers, including, well, they just released, we, we reviewed it, Godzilla and Kong, Wonder Woman, Game of Thrones, The Bachelor, yeah, sure. So, it looks like AT&T AT spent $85 billion three years ago to purchase Time Warner, which includes CNN, HBO, TBS, TNT, and other different things, but they're ready to jettison those assets. Uh, this guy here, Craig Moffat, says, What a dismal failure. What a, what an embarrassing chapter for once. what was once one of America's most storied companies. The Warner Media executives were stunned by the news. Uh, we saw this in some of the infighting with the Snyderverse. AT&T, the parent company, was really happy with the Snyderverse and you know the Snyder cut of everything that just came out that we also reviewed but when they uh when you talk to the time warner people they are not a big fan they're actually going to kill the snyderverse it looks like and and snyder even said as much uh several times now so it seems like at&t didn't really know what to do with the uh with with what they had and now they're they're financially stretched because they're trying to build that 5g that we're all hearing about and now they just they don't know what to do they recently spun off el segundo based direct tv and they're saying uh discovery which is only worth 16.8 billion and they would merge they're famous for you know property brothers diners drive-ins and drives naked and afraid let's see what else is interesting in here uh, they would announce in January that the CNN president would... I mean, there's just way too many. These companies are so big, they don't even know what to do with each other. They just keep merging and keep getting bigger. Uh, they're supposed to announce a new name for it. Nobody knows what it's going to be. Will it still be HBO Max? Will they keep the properties uh, together? Are they going to sell CNN? Nobody knows. Uh, it looks like a big mess. Uh, they were saying at and stock has been underperforming. And um, one of the reasons why they think that HBO Max was hurting them as well is because HBO Max was one of the more expensive of the online streaming services. They were coming in at, what, $14.99 a month. They're saying now that it, it's boasting 44 million subscribers and uh they committed to spending two billion dollars on original content but that's just just a little piss in the pot compared to netflix who <laughs> spent 16 billion what is going on this is so much money i don't even understand like it's incomprehensible and uh we'll, we'll see where this all goes 
I know the last time there was a merger, there was a huge amount of cuts, so we'll probably see some more job cuts. And uh, yeah, the whole thing seems kind of strange. There's also another rumor going on out there that Amazon is in plans to do something. Amazon is talking to buy uh, MGM, Metro Goldwyn Mayer, for $9 billion. What will that net them? I don't really know. <laughs> I know they get a casino. That's one thing they're going to get because there's a casino in Vegas. That's the MGM. Uh, let's see. They're going to, they already have, you know, Amazon, which it's kind of cheating because they have 200 million Prime members, but not everybody watches that. Jeff Bezos claims that 175 million of those stream some sort of Prime content, but they just, they don't have enough stuff to keep going but here's what they're going to be buying for their monies looks like they're going to get 4,000 film titles including james bond hobbit rocky creed robocop pink panther franchise is that really still a franchise four weddings and a funeral silence of the lambs uh looks like they have a lot of already episodes that you like back catalogs of things like stargate sg1 vikings fargo handmaiden's tale uh, american gladiators teen wolf yeah, Survivor, The Voice, Shark Tank, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> I don't know. So um, Amazon apparently spent $11 billion on movies in comparison to Netflix, which was 16 and uh, HBO Max, which was only $2 billion. Come on, guys, get with it. You got to spend a little bit. Got to spend that money to make that money. Uh, it looks like... This is one of the biggest mergers. Disney and Fox was $71 billion, but AT&T and Time Warner was $85 billion. Good gravy. Uh, we can get more into that if you guys want to talk about it another time. Tell us below if you want to hear more about the financials and the these type of things. Does this interest you? Uh, definitely something that sparked my interest, and I think we'll talk a little bit about it on the show and get uh, maybe New Noob's perspective on this, which will be Noob Noob. And that's about it. But anyway, um, I'm thinking about trading it all in for dog money. But from all of us here at OrcU and all of y'all at home, we love y'all and on to the next one. Ah.